was a boy and growing up in the years that all the way into my adult years my father always had a garden. We would get on the phone and kind of our conversations that we would have regularly and and he would tell me about his tomatoes. I'd be on the other end and I didn't want to hear about tomatoes. I wanted to hear about how he was. How are you? And I'd say, well, how are you, Dad? And he'd say, I'm fine. And then he'd tell me more about his tomatoes or the kale or the lettuce or the cabbage or whatever it was. There was a time that I finally got it, that I finally got that my father was connecting with me by telling me about his life in that way. On my side of things, I stopped asking him, how are you? And started asking him, how are your tomatoes? And he would, and he would be so thrilled to tell me about his tomatoes. I'm glad you asked. Or how, and is the cabbage, did you plant cabbage this year? Oh yes, the cabbage is big and I've given some to the neighbors and I've got more tomatoes. We're going to have to can some because we've got too many this year. It was the beginning of opening a relationship up with him that was different than it had been before. I had changed how I expected him to be and got that this is how he wanted to communicate with me. And when that happened, then we began to communicate. And then he began to be able to share himself. And then I began to see him for who he was and his unique human beingness, his unique quality of caring for the earth and caring for his, his homestead in that way. I think it was a big relief for him. <laughs> it was a big relief for him. For me to stop asking the question, well, how are you, Dad? And you know, after that, he also snuck in how he was fairly regularly, which was um, just an extra added on gift for me. That's the story of the tomatoes. <laughs>